Ryan Foland, black, wet cat. Black, wet cat, Ryan Foland. Thank you. Do I have any dog lovers in the house? Do I have any cat lovers in the house? I am proud to say that I am a cat lover. Now before all you dog lovers go writing me off, just know that you haven't met my cat, Black Cat. I know dogs are supposed to be your best friend, but Black Cat is my brother. He's always there for me, and he's a really good listener. Contest Madam, Toastmasters, and fellow pet lovers. We all share one universal challenge when it comes to pets. Doesn't matter what type you love, it's finding a good pet sitter when you go on vacation. <laughs> now, I don't like to leave Black Cat at home, but when I do, there's only two people I trust, and those are my parents. They did okay with me, so I figured Black Cat would be safe with them. <laughs> now, two years ago, I had an awesome opportunity to go to Costa Rica for an entire month. Unfortunately, the airlines wouldn't let Black Cat go. I knew if he would go, I would call him Gato Negro. But it didn't work out, so I left him with my parents to be cat sat. Now, I had an amazing time in Costa Rica, and as I was flying into LAX, I felt peace, tranquility, calmness as I landed on the tarmac, and then I got reception. Bing, 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 bing. My phone started blowing up. I pull up my phone, I look at it. I have seven text messages from my mom. My mom doesn't even know how to text. It says, black, cat, wet, dad, sister, emergency. What? Here I am, just landed, and now all I can think of is, what the hell happened to my cat? So I rushed to my parents' house. I'm surprised to see that my mom has her right arm completely bandaged. My dad looks grumpy. And I say, where's black cat? What happened? My dad points upstairs, and my mom says, honey, he's alive, but he's not himself. I run upstairs. I get black cat. I check him out. He seems to be a bit fluffier than normal, but he's all there. I look him in the eyes, and there is something wrong. Took me a couple hours to figure out exactly what happened, but I patched together the story. Apparently, my parents took Black Cat on a boat to Catalina Island. Now dogs, dogs are good on boats. Cats, not so good on boats. Now Black Cat had never been on a boat before. When I asked my mom, why did you take Black Cat on a boat? She said, because I thought if I left him at home, something bad might happen to him. She went on to justify the trip, telling me that he really liked the fish. Well, I found out that he likes two types of fish. One type of fish is the alive one that's in the water. The other type of fish is the shiny lure on my dad's fishing pole. It all happened one sunny Sunday morning in Big Geiger Cove. We were on the boat. Everything was normal. My dad was on the bow fishing like he normally does. My mom was in the galley cooking breakfast. My sister was downstairs still asleep. Black Cat was up on the bridge. That's the highest spot. It's where he had a good cat eye view and he put his paws over the rail and he watched my dad fish. My dad would cast the shiny lure out into the water He'd watch, the sh he'd watch the fish chase it, and my dad would reel it in. He'd watch my dad cast the shiny lure into the water, watch the fish chase it, and reel it back in. On that particular day, the next cat, the next cast, Black Cat jumped after that shiny lure. Rawr! Launches himself off the boat. Cat misses the shiny lure. Cat in the water. This is when things start to happen. My mom sees the whole thing go down, and she goes into emergency mode. Cat overboard! Cat overboard! My dad drops his fishing pole, runs to the side to see if he can help. My sister hears, cat overboard! Cat overboard! Wakes up from a dead sleep, wants to help, runs, jumps overboard. She jumped the wrong side of the boat. My mom's going, starboard side, wrong side of the boat, cat overboard! The whole time, the cat is in full kitty paddle. Now, if you don't know what a kitty paddle is, it's just like a doggy paddle, but it looks more like this. Ah! My sister swimming around the other side. She's a water polo player, so she's guarding the cat, getting it to the nearest floating object. The nearest floating object happened to be an inflatable dinghy. Cat on the inflatable dinghy. Cat pops the inflatable dinghy. Dinghy starts to sink. Cat in the water again. My mom's screaming, cat overboard, running to try to help. She goes to the back of the boat on the swim step, and the cat's still going. The cat can't seem to get up. She doesn't know what to do. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. She makes a decision to try to grab for the cat. She grabs the cat. The cat grabs onto her. Cat on my mom's arm. Cat will not let go of my mom's arm. My dad's going, get the cat off your arm. My mom's screaming, swinging the cat around her head. Ah! Throws the cat, cat launches through the air, lands on all four feet, goes right for the cabin door, but he's dizzy, and he runs right off the boat again. Cat in the water again. Cat overboard, cat overboard. My dad thinks quick, 
grabs a fishing net, goes over, swoops it up like it was a 30-pound fish. But it wasn't a 30-pound fish. It was a 30-pound black, wet cat. After a few minutes, black cat calmed down. Each one of his paws ended up going through a hole in the net. My dad told me he actually put the tail out too, so it was more comfortable. But there's black cat hanging in the net, defeated, embarrassed, ashamed, wet, and all he could say for himself was, meow. <laughs> now the kicker to the whole story is that my mom realized salt water, cat hair, doesn't necessarily mix. So she had to make the executive decision to hose the cat down with fresh water after the fact. <laughs> you can only imagine what the bath after the bath was like. Then to put insult on injury, my sister thought it would be a bright idea to blow dry the cat. <laughs> Thankful were my parents and my sister that the cat was completely harness constrained in the net and that he was alive. I was just thankful that Black Cat knew how to kitty paddle. It took a few weeks actually for me to calm down and for Cat to start acting normal again. And I decided to go to my mom's house and have a heart to heart. And I sat her down and I said, Mom, please, 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 please don't ever, ever, ever take Black Cat on a boat again. And she looked at me sternly and said, Ryan, he's part of the family. <laughs> and besides, he has eight lives left. <laughs> Thank you.